She stayed in the house and hung by the pool. This is the picture of the uh, cadre. She stayed in the house and hung by the pool. A source says of Jen, who didn't hit the beach until her second day in Hawaii. <laughs> no place like home. Rather than go out on the town, Jen makes service providers come to her. Yoga instructor Maggie Ingleber and hairdresser Chris McMillan are just a few of the regular at Casa Anista. Jen is currently renovating her Newberry Hills property, right? And according to an insider on the project, she's spending an more enormous amount of money on the security system. She seeks security. With Jen spending so much time at home, it's no surprise that she is stepping up security on her new Beverly Hills property. Just a few yards away from the 9,000 square foot main house, currently under renovation, sits a guard kiosk, which will contain a central nervous system of a state-of-the-art security system complete with cameras, recorders, motion detectors, and every top-notch gizmos known to the security industry. Jen is pulling out all stops as far as her personal security. An insider of the project tells, okay. <laughs> While no one can fault Jen for wanting to feel safe, her quest for privacy is just one of the quirks that could be make it nearly impossible for her to find the next man of her dreams. <laughs> Imagine. She's waiting for you, Sash. She can't commit. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! She just can't do it. <laughs> Jen has often spoken of her fear oh. of commitment, which stems from the fact that her father's soap opera actor, John Aniston, 74, left her mother, Nancy, 71, for another woman when Jen was nine years old. It forever made her question the ability of any couple to stay together long term. Beverly Hill psychiatrist, Dr. Carol Libertman, who has uh, treated Jen, tells OK. Women in situation like hers have a deep-rooted expectation that their man will one day abandon them, so they often make things difficult to ensure they'll have control when the man actually walks out.